What's up, YouTube? Peace. Hotep. The black man is God. All right, today I'm just going to uh, go through my my phone. Got a little, got some pictures on here. All right, the first picture I got is Dr. Sebi. The reason I have a picture of Dr. Sebi in my phone is because this man has true knowledge. All right, true knowledge and about herbs. All right, and he said something to me one time. He ain't said it to me. We was in a video. Um, and it, he said, different kinds of animals have different diets, you know, in different from different locations. Like, all right, for example, a zebra and a horse, you know what I'm saying? They, they're basically the same kind of animal, but they come from different regions. Like, there's an African lion and there's a, American line and they have different diets and what they did it we, we America they always tell you that it's like a melting pot it's so many different cultures all uh forced into one right everybody's all into one area but what you fail to realize is that we're all not it's it's like you have blue ants you have red ants all right you got a chihuahua you got pit bulls these are all they're all the same species basically but they're different, like uh, genres of the species, they're different, different uh, sections, subspecies, if you will. And these different subspecies of the uh, of the species, are, although they can mate, uh, a zebra and a horse can mate, but they they have different uh, biologies. They have different internal. They have different. Uh, What's it called? Uh, different diets, all right. Different things that they're supposed to eat to help them in different ways, all right. You wouldn't feed a koala bear the same diet that you would feed a black bear; it wouldn't live. And that's the whole thing that with with Doctor Sebi that I was like, all right, that's that makes sense. That makes sense. And, so, and what he said, we would try to we were supposed to eat uh, different yams and and uh. There's a lot of different things that he was saying, and, and then there's a lot of, uh, mostly what he was saying was that he cured AIDS, and mucus is the only disease that we have, and the, if you have just the right herbs and the right kind of things that you're eating, you, you'll, you won't be sick. And, I, and I, unfortunately, they, uh, they arrested this man for having too much money, and then he died in jail, so there's that. Uh, that's unfortunate, but um, he still left on a legacy that will that, that I will always try to pass on to everybody I meet. Alkaline. If your body is alkaline, you the cancer cannot live in your body. You cannot be sick if your body is alkaline. So that is something that he passed on to us. They tried to, they t they arrested him for having too much money, and he died in jail. So he probably could have been lived to been two hundred years old. You never know, man. It just that, that was a wise man. They had to take him out of the game. All right, let's move on to the next picture. All right, the next picture I have up here is, I have this picture up here because I, I, I debate people a lot about race. And one thing that this kind of proves is the albino theory that I had. <clears throat> it, and is that so-called white people are really descended from black people in a way. And this is the type of black people that they are descended from. These, uh, they have the phenotype and the, and the bone structure of a white person, hair type, and everything. These are basically Caucasoid black people. They're black. Although they're black, they're Caucasian. They're not Caucasians. You see, they're black people because everybody, life began black. Everybody began as a black person, and a certain type of black person became white due to living in caves for thousands of years and genetic changes after leaving Africa and, you know, or not just Africa, but life began on the equator, where it's hottest on Earth, and when people moved away from that area, 
that's when they began to lose melanin. So everybody is black, or their roots were black, and and that's my that's my theory. That's why I have this picture up here because this is obviously a Caucasian woman, but this is the the roots of the Caucasian uh, race. It's just, they were black and then they were trapped in the Ice Age. That's my theory. Black power. Well, you already know that's self-explanatory. <laughs> All right, that was funny. Black anime. It's rare. Prostitution. Ginger. <laughs> yeah, these are videos that I've made before. So I'm not. I'm gonna go past that. Uh, Doctor Cress Welsing, the ISIS Papers. I still have not read that book, but I've watched a lot of her um, debates and the uh, lectures that she she's done, and I've seen her. Uh, I think it was on Maury. One of these TV shows, when she went, she really went in. Uh, this is a very powerful sister, so you uh, you check her out. Uh, who's this? Uh, Dr. Clark. Dr. Clark has a lot of good lectures. Follow him if you got a chance. This is uh, Queen and Zynga, King Menelik. Is that a video? I don't know. Let me click off of King Melanick. All right, so I guess it's not going to let me click off of King Melanick. So let me talk about King Melanick right now. I've always put him in my phone because when you think of King of Ethiopia, most people generally just focus on Selassie. And I'm kind of, I kind of take offense to that because I really feel like this dude is kind of real, 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 real light skinned. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's just funny to me how you want to make like out of all the kings of Ethiopia, you want to pick the one who looks the most white to wear on a necklace and to put posters up everywhere. Like he doesn't even look black. If you want to go and say, all right, let's. Look about look. Let's go back to our culture in Africa and look at some history in Africa, and look at the kings. Fine, there's plenty of kings of Ethiopia that look like me and you. Why the Selassie guy? I don't understand that. Why would you pick somebody who don't look like you, and put him and hold him up? There's King Melanick. This is the king who fought off the uh. All the Nazis and all that shit. When when that shit was going on and all that shit was going on back then, and they was trying to invade, uh, Ethiopia is the only country that they fought off the motherfuckers. They didn't get invaded. They hundreds of years, hundreds and hundreds of years, they never been conquered. But they don't talk about that. They just talk about Selassie, and I don't understand that. Like why they talk about this one dude who don't even look like this dude. He looks like us, so this is why I, like I highlight him on there. All right, now I can go, but Tupac, there are, there's a movie coming up about Tupac, and I don't, I, 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 Tupac is my, my boy, but I don't want to watch it because I know, like, the writers of that movie is all white people, his mom died mysteriously, you know what I'm saying, right before the shit was about to come out, like, Fatal Hussein died mysteriously right before this shit was about to come out, fucking Suge Knight is in prison, he, you know what I'm saying? Right before this shit about to come. Like, all the people who you was close to him and would have something to say about this fucking movie, they out of the way. And the only people that's left is people that's been scared for a long time to say anything. They ain't gonna say nothing. Like, they being, like, all the people that was close to him is being flushed out. Yo, that's why I think, and there's this whole thing with this uh, nigga, Wack 100. He's, he's out here saying mad, wild shit about Tupac. And I really think that he's just trying to flush out the niggas that's really close to Tupac so that when this movie come out, and I think this movie is going to try to do some real disrespect to Tupac, I think that when this movie come out, they, they can try to have anybody who would have Tupac's back and have their character on blast. Because that's what they do. They just try, they, they try to formulate ideas and put them in your head. Inception. Like that movie, they put they make ideas and they put them in your head, you you know, and then later on, and you you're saying something, and that they them uh, came up with, 
that's what that is. So that's why I'm I'm hesitant on watching that movie because I already know like if you're a real Tupac fan, you already know his whole fucking story and his love, whose life story. So if they try to pull some slick shit, you know what I'm saying? We going we gonna know. All right, all right. Let's go to the next scene. All right, just obviously Tupac's mom, uh, Afeni Shakur. She was a Black Panther. Mansa Musa, the richest man in the world. And that, they can make a movie of. I heard they talk, are working on making a movie. With, uh, Nick Cannon uh, was talking about it. Uh, the people who are making the Black Panther movie right now, they talking about it. So it, it might be a real thing. All right, but uh, this video is going a little bit long. Um, I ain't trying to kill y'all with talking. So you know what I'm saying? Check that out. Boom. The black man is God, and. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like my video, share it, whatever you want to do, and peace. I'm out.